I made a Linux app for you. Today I present you the Linux Assistant, a daily helper with powerful integrated search routines and checks just for you. Let's start. Hi guys. About six months ago I started the development of a first Linux app. This is the Linux Assistant. The Linux Assistant has a good powerful search, lets you keep control of your system and offers automatic actions that you can administrate and prepare your Linux system very easy and that on many distributions like Ubuntu, Debian, Linux Mint, Pop OS, MX Linux, Sorin OS, KDE Neon and OpenSUSE Tumbleweed. So yeah, let's start by downloading it. I'm with Linux Mint here, but you can use the Linux Assistant on other distributions too. So I select download.deb file and it is downloaded within some seconds and I click on the file to install it. I select install package, enter my password and finish the installation of Linux Assistant. Perfect. Now I can close this one and close my web browser and let us open up Linux Assistant. You can find it in the menu just here and open it up the first time. Here we see a small introduction what Linux Assistant is and in the first minute let us configure Linux Assistant. What should it do and how does it work? So I click next here and here it asks us is our recognized system correct? Yeah, I'm on Linux Mint Cinnamon and my language is English. At the moment, the languages German and English are supported. If you want to translate Linux Assistant, head over to the GitHub project. So in my case, the system is correct. So I click yes. Now it offers us to automatically set a hotkey that we can open Linux Assistant very, very fast because yeah, we want to use it as a daily helper and for a daily helper, we have to start it very quickly and we can do this with super Q. On some distributions, it is old Q. In this distribution, it is super Q. So I select yes, set up hotkey and here we see the next screen, time to set up your computer. If you just installed your computer, this is perfectly to get ready within few minutes and do everything important. After this, you could start using your computer with all preferred settings and apps. So I click let's start and here, yeah, welcome to our new Linux machine. I click on start again and now we are here in our browser selection. Yeah, we can choose different browsers. By default, the Firefox is installed on Linux Mint. It automatically recognizes which browsers are installed and um, pre-selected it. So if you want to deactivate Firefox, uninstall it and install Google Chrome, for example, then you can do this or you can install Chromium, but you can also let Firefox and Chromium installed both on the sites. And for me, this is okay. I click next. And now we are at the office selection. Which office suite do we want to use? LibreOffice is pre-installed, so this is okay for me. If you want, you can choose another one and also deselect or select <laughs> the one you like. In my case, this is okay. I click on next and here we can select between different communication softwares. I'm preferring Thunderbird and I'm also using Element. So I'm choosing element. You can also, for me, this is okay. I click on next and here we can choose between the automatic configuration or the manual configuration. If we choose the manual configuration, we only install our applications, which we have selected and we are done. Or I recommend you the automatic configuration. Here you can choose for specific configurations at the next screen. Here I can select or deselect the actions which should be done. In my case, I want to update the system to the latest version. So we are doing all the updates. I also want to install multimedia codecs. I also want to create and set up the automatic snapshots. 
And I also want the automatic update manager configuration. The cool thing about it is that Linux Assistant adapts itself to your system which you use in the underground. For example, if you use OpenSUSE, then the automatic configuration for OpenSUSE is activated. If you use Debian, unattended upgrades will be installed and activated. Or if you use Linux Mint, then the update manager is configured to apply the automatic updates configuration. So perfect. I select next in here and we are doing everything. Now a password is required to do all the stuff. I enter my password and authenticate. Perfect. Now the system is doing very much. It is downloading and installing the software and also applying the automatic actions after it. So while the thing is doing its job, let us open our web browser and let's have a look to the GitHub repository. The whole app is of course completely open source and it is made with Dart and Flutter as a front end and some parts of it are Python. We have some specific Python elements, for example, the automatic setup of time shift and such things, or the security check, or the administrative runner, which takes action on the systems, and the rest is made with Flutter. If you want, you can easily build it yourself. There is a complete step-by-step -step instruction to install the used requirements and to build it yourself from the source. The aim of Linux Assistant is to assist Linux users in their daily use and at administrative tasks. Its mission is to unite the major part of the Linux community and profit from Synergy effects. The aim is to support all major and well-known Linux distributions and desktops. At the time we have the Debian-based and also OpenSUSE. They are following Fedora and also some distributions like Manjaro are on the rating list. But the current focus is to improve Linux Assistant in its current functions and to improve the search. I will put a link to the manifest and to the Linux Assistant repository into the video description. After some time, our automatic configuration and installation of all the software is done and I click on next. Now we see the introduction to Linux Assistant, what Linux Assistant actually does. With Linux Assistant, we can browse through all our applications, folders, recent files, which is a very strong feature and which is the feature I personally use the most. Also the bookmarks of my browser and some special functions like the security or the health check of Linux Assistant are also included. And yeah, here's also the hint for our hotkey. So I click on let's start and now we are here in the search and that is the main screen of Linux Assistant. We see a disk usage allocation here. If we only have one partition active, then there's of course only one partition showed. We have the RAM usage and also the swap usage which let us keep us track of memory. Down under we have our search bar here. We will go to it in a second. And down under we have some recommended actions of Linux Assistant, for example, the security check or the after installation routine, which we ran some seconds ago. And um, also, yeah, some special applications which come in spotlight down there. Also, we see a reload button down here. We can also change the background. For example, we can change it to a white background or we can change to the colorful background. This is how it looks in Linux Mint. The Debian version of Linux Assistant has a complete other color scheme. For example, this is the color scheme of my Debian installation. And um, yeah, I can also change the background here to, for example, the black one. And yeah, I personally do like it very, very much. And uh, yeah, that is my preferred view of Linux Assistant at the time. And every distribution has its own color. And um, yeah, it makes it 
they're kind of special I guess and here we also have some more partitions mounted and they are all shown with their spaces perfect so yeah <laughs> let us come to search something let us search for example for phi for example and here we have some applications like the file renamer the files app firewall configuration firefox okay but then also some applications which have something like phi in their description the advanced network configuration the user profile warpinator the qt5 settings and yeah if i for example and if i type further on then the search becomes more clear but if it becomes too clear then linux assistant recommends you to install some additional software for example firefox dev firefox locale an and uh, something like that for example if i want to open htop and i see okay htop is apparently not installed no problem it recommends you to install htop via a single command or also for example bashtop i'm going with htop here i can control linux assistant with the key or with the mouse i personally control it via the key because yeah it's much faster so i select htop here and then we can and it is installing the package via apt that isn't taking too much time here we also see the log what it was doing and this seems to be okay so i close it select next and um, now we can search for htop and we have here our htop application already indexed with our linux assistant for example if i open up the web browser and i code go to linux guides de which is my german website i'm also having a big german youtube channel the biggest german one in the linux segment um, yeah, I can bookmark, for example, this website. I click save and, for example, close my web browser and then reload here my Linux assistant. Then it is creating the search index completely new. And then, and then let us search for Linux guides. And here we see, okay, here's our website, Linux guides be free and here we also see some more information for example the linux health which is very important to which we come in a second but also our linux assistant tab file which we opened some minutes before that is very very important or i can search for my downloads folder and i can open it up in a second so this search does everything and finds everything you're searching for and that is the big advantage of this app some other desktops like gnome have already a very good search linux assistant finds sometimes more and is much faster than the integrated os search and it is also self-learning so if you open up an entry very very often then it ranks the search entry higher the next time you search them so yeah linux assistant adapts it to you and makes it to your app you want to use all the time so let us head over to a another feature which is the linux health for example i click on linux help and here we see some specific information about our current status of our linux distribution so in my case my linux system has only been running for 12 minutes <laughs> that's very good yeah i restarted the linux machine some minutes before because my virtual machine collapsed but <laughs> that's another issue then we see how many processes are currently running and if there are some zombies there aren't any zombies which is great here we see the ram usage and the cpu usage down there we also have our memory and storage all our partitions are not overfilled which is very very great that's this results in a better performance great no removable storage devices were detected so it warns us if we have for example usb sticks or external drives plugged in for a long time and it also checks if we have a swap in our case we have one so this is great this is only a quick view to get a overview of the current status of our linux system let us go back to search and let us head over to the last feature which i want to show you today which is the security check 
I search for it. Here we have our security check and um, this is also very handy in my opinion because yeah, it let you take a look to your current situation of your Linux computer. And in this case, the standard Linux Mint is quite safe. Yeah, we have no additional software sources, which is good in security issues. Our system is currently up to date. Yeah, because our Linux assistant did updates <laughs> some minutes ago and our home folder is very secure. So other users can't see our files, but the network security isn't the best we can activate our firewall to get a complete green list. So for example, let us do that. I open up my firewall configuration and turn it on here and reload the whole thing. Then let us see. Perfect. Now everything is green. Yeah, we got a complete green screen also here. And um, now, yeah, we are a bit more secure in our Linux life. So yeah, this is the Linux Assistant, a great app for your daily use. If you want to send feedback, please do it. I have a built-in feedback function down here to just send feedback directly to me. You can type in everything here you want. You can also include search term and the search results of your current search because you can also send feedbacks if you are searching something, for example, here. And now we can open send feedback and yeah, you can include some additional information if you want, but also uncheck them and only send me some feedback, how you like this app, what can be improved. And yeah, there's a lot to improve. Every two weeks, a new version appears. And the cool thing about it is that Linux Assistant has a automatic updater. So you get notified by Linux Assistant itself if a new version is out and it asks you to update itself to keep you on the latest Linux Assistant version and features. So let me know if you like the Linux Assistant. Go to linux-assistant.org to get the latest version and I'm happy to read and hear your feedback. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.